Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech and watchOS 9.5.1 released to the public today on all watchOS 9 supported devices. This particular update is a small update that has a fairly small size depending on which version you're updating from and to. As you can see, it came in at 91.8 megabytes. That's on someone else's Apple Watch. My watch, because it was on an older version, was 863 megabytes. So depending on which version you're updating from, which watch you're using, it can vary greatly. However, However, most people should see it as this smaller size. I didn't use my Apple Watch Ultra as that's actually on the betas of watchOS 9.6. So I, I actually booted up my old Series 7 Apple Watch that I haven't used in a while and had to update it a little bit. Now, Apple did not release an iOS update today, but instead released a couple other updates. iCloud for Windows was updated, and also Apple Music Classical made its way to Android. So those things were released. Maybe we'll see a different version of iOS soon. We'll talk about that in a minute. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the build number and we'll talk about what's new. So we'll go to settings, then we'll go down to general, then about. And as you can see, the build number is 20T570. This particular build brings bug fixes and improvements, and that's according to the software update page here, as you can see from the Apple Watch app. This update includes improvements and bug fixes for your Apple Watch. Now specifically what those are, we don't know. However, we do know that there was a green tint issue on watchOS 9.5. Now I tested this before and after. Some people are saying that it's fixed. And if we go into photos, let me find the photo here. This is on my wife's Apple Watch. I didn't really notice any green tint here, but this is before with watchOS 9.5 and after. So I didn't really notice a difference. Maybe it's a little bit better. Some people online are saying that they noticed that the problem has been resolved entirely. Others have not. So we don't know specifically what they've fixed and other people have reported that there was issues with battery drain. Hopefully they resolve it with this, but that does take a few days to actually test and see if it fixes that issue. From the time of this video, you'll see we're down a few percent. I installed it at 50%. We're down just a few over about an half hour or so, so it seems to be doing okay, but we won't know again for a few days. As far as security updates, well, if we go to Apple's security website here, you can see if we scroll down, you'll see there's watchOS 9.5.1 for Apple Watch Series 4 and later, and it says this update has no published CVE entries. Now, whether or not that means there's no security updates or they're just not telling us about them, I I'm guessing there isn't any, but right now it seems like this is just a small bug fix for an unknown bug that Apple's not telling us about. Apple really needs to update their documentation a little bit better and let us know exactly what they're fixing so that we look and let them know if this issue has been resolved. Telling us nothing doesn't help anyone as we don't know if they've actually resolved the problem they were aiming to fix. So hopefully they fix this in the future. As far as performance and battery life, those things really shouldn't be affected with a 0.1 update, but again, we don't really know that 100% until we test it for a few days. Just using this watch I haven't used in a while, going into apps that I haven't opened in a long time, seems to be nice and fast here, so it looks like it's working okay. And if we go into maybe the Compass app here, everything seems to be working pretty quickly. So no issues there. I wouldn't expect any performance differences whatsoever. As far as battery health, as many of you ask me for that, let's just go ahead and take a quick look at it. We'll go over to our battery here, scroll down, and under battery, scroll to the bottom, battery health, this is at 93% capacity. It's a couple years old at this point, so it's holding up just fine. Apple says 80% after two years is normal on both Apple Watch and iPhone, so I think it's holding up pretty well. As far as future releases, well, I would expect Apple to release a beta this week. WatchOS 9.6 Beta 2 I would expect probably tomorrow at some point or later in the week, and the same is true with iOS 16.6 Beta 2. We just haven't seen those yet. Now, Apple could release an iOS 16.5.1 to fix an issue with the USB-C to Lightning dongle or USB 3 to Lightning dongle. That's something that needs to be resolved with iOS 16.5.1, so we could see that release sometime this week since we have a watchOS 9.5.1. But again, there's no guarantees, and I haven't seen anyone talk about analytics of seeing that particular version on their websites.
We're going to see the big updates with watchOS 10 at WWDC in just under a week on June 5th. WatchOS 10 is expected to bring major changes to the overall interface, similar to that of the first series Apple Watch. So maybe with more widgets, some different changes here and there to the entire interface, which will definitely be welcome. Of course, we'll see iOS 17, Apple's VR headset it seems like, and much more, as they continue to update their websites for WWDC. So if you're looking forward to that, you can see the new animation there of their Apple logo, and it says Code New Worlds. So it looks like we're getting ready for a new VR headset. And you'll see here that if we scroll down, here's the keynote time, June 5th at 10 a.m. Pacific time or 1 p.m. Eastern. So I'm looking forward to that, to seeing what's up in the future. As far as what watch face I'm actually using, many people ask this, so I'll just go over it briefly. I'm using the modular watch face, and if we edit, you'll see here if we go over to our complications, the one in the middle is actually a paid app called Lumi. So that's something I bought a long time ago, and of course we just have the other complications such as the calendar, messages, our music, our compass, and then the weather. So nothing really complicated here with these complications, but Lumi is a nice app. You can change what shows here as well if you don't want it to show that. So that's everything with watchOS 9.5.1. If you've found anything else that it seems to have resolved, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Also, I'd love to hear what you want to see most from watchOS 10. I think the watch is pretty good and stable overall as an overall operating system from Apple, but let me know what you would like them to add in the comments below. Of course, I'll link this wallpaper in the description like I normally do. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.